Hi there, in this video, we'll be looking at transitions inside of our native script Angular applications. What am I talking about? Well, if we hit this navigate to profile button, you'll see that we have almost this call up. So it's like this page is turning between each application screen. Unfortunately, this is not supported on Android. So when we hit navigate to profile, we simply just have a normal transition, but this is the power of native script. We're able to develop two applications with the same code base. And when there isn't a compatible option, the application doesn't break. So we've just locked a curl and we can also see curl up and that's just what we saw there. So curl does equal curl up. And finally, we also have a curl down and all of these things are iOS specific. So let's add name equal to curl down. And you will notice that how I'm actually doing this is I'm changing between two routes and we have this sort of comma and we're opening up this new object, specifying the transition with a name, duration and curve. So quite simple. You just need to make sure that you have your routes set up before this. And if you want to know how to do that, check out my Angular course. That can be found over at paulhalliday.io. But before we get into that, let's hit save. And when our application boots up again on both devices, once again, we'll only see this on iOS, but when we hit navigate to profile, you'll see that we have this curl down animation. Okay. So next up we have what's known as explode and this is Android lollipop. So that's SDK 21 and above. So this isn't compatible on iOS. So let's type in explode and hit save. So once we hit save and click navigate to profile, you'll see the explode animation. It's a quite strange, definitely is a strange one, but there may be some circumstances where you want to use this. Personally, I can't think of many, but there we go. Next up we have fade. So if we change the transition name to be fade, we have this sort of fade between both screens. And this is the same for Android and iOS. We also then have flip and this is the same as flip right. So you'll notice if we click the button, it sort of flips between both screens. And it does give us this 3D effect. And we have a similar one for flip left. So you can imagine if we hit flip left, it would just flip it from the other direction. Next up, we have slide and that's the same as slide left. So this does slide between both screens and you can see that it also applies a little fade. Now, when your application, you'd most likely make this much quicker. This is half a second or at least a second. Yet we have this at one second. I'd probably make it anywhere between 200 milliseconds at absolute max to about 250. And you would see that the slide left would look much better. Up next, we have slide right, which is the same thing, but flip backwards. And then we also have slide top and slide bottom. Let's take a look at that. So if we hit slide top, you can see it almost slides away to the top. And you can see it much more pronounced on iOS, but once again, we do have quite a long duration. Let's do the same for a slide bottom. And when we hit navigate to profile, it sort of slides away to the bottom like so. So this has given us quite a few built in transitions that allow us to navigate between different pages and provide an animation. Now it doesn't stop here. We can also change the animation curve itself. So the curve at this point is linear. We could change that to be ease in. And what ease in does is it causes the animation to begin slowly, but then speeds up as the animation progresses. So once we save this, we can check out the application and when we hit navigate to profile, notice how it starts slowly and gets quicker. We also have ease out and what ease out does is it starts the animation quickly and slows down as it progresses. If you wanted to have both combined into one, you could use ease in out and we have this sort of animation that we can look at now. And that means when we click this navigate to profile, it sort of starts slowly, accelerates, and then slows down again. So it certainly is an interesting one, but perhaps most interesting of all is the spring. 
and this produces a bounce effect on the device when we navigate between the two pages. If we hit iOS, you'll notice that nothing actually changes in this regard, but Navigator Profile on Android does provide that bounce effect. In my opinion, I don't really think I'll be using this much in my native script apps, but you may find a use case where you want the user interface to bounce. So by adding this transition object to our router extensions when navigating between pages, we can add a transition to our native script applications. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, let me know inside of the comments section below. Don't forget to check out my Patreon over at patreon.com slash paulhalliday to support the channel and the content. Until next time, I'll see you soon in my next video. Oh, this new crazy mother...